What category of plant is the most successful? Angiosperms or gymnosperms? Let's talk about that. Before I begin, let me change into something more fitting. Banana plants are an example of angiosperms, also known as flowering plants. There are over 260,000 species of angiosperms. That makes up around 90% of all known plants. For reference, gymnosperms only make up around 1% of all plants. Angiosperms are not only more abundant than gymnosperms, but they can also grow much quicker than their opponent. Angiosperms also have the special ability to contain their seeds within flowers and even fruits. Angiosperms create all your favorite fruits, including strawberries, bananas, like the one that I'm wearing, watermelon, and even cocaine. That wasn't really cocaine, by the way. Angiosperms can be pollinated by the wind and pollinators such as bees, hummingbirds, and bats. They create pretty flowers and ooze sweet nectar that attract them. This way, the pollinators have sex for them. They take the pollen or sperm from one flower and then fly or run it over to another flower, depositing that sperm or pollen um, onto that flower's egg. This way the plant does not have to fully rely on the wind, unlike gymnosperms. All they have to do is sit there and look pretty like this banana. Gymnosperms, though less abundant, do have their upsides. Gymnosperms are built for harsh, dry climates. Since they are pollinated by wind, they do not need water to transport their sperm. They use cones to protect their embryo from drying out, allowing reproduction to occur in extremely dry climates. Now, while I would like to give a point to gymnosperms here over angiosperms, I just can't because some angiosperms can survive these harsh conditions as well. The most prominent desert plant, the cactus, is an angiosperm. Cacti survive in the desert by holding water in their stems. This pine cone used to hold gymnosperm sperm in it before it opened up and was dispersed by the wind. Isn't that cool? Angiosperms' abundance, quick growth, and fruit and flower making ability makes them the clear front runner for most successful plant type. Gymnosperms may have been the first seeded plant, but they're definitely not the most successful. These are. <laughs> 